Hi there, Alyssa here for AOP Tech on YouTube. Uh, and today I'm just gonna show you a quick tip on what to do with your old Google Classroom classes as we're getting ready. We've wrapped up one school year and maybe over the summer we're doing a refresh and getting everything ready for the new school year. So here's what to do with your old classes. So another tab here, I'm gonna go to my classroom I'm just doing so by typing in classroom.google.com. There's a couple different ways that you can get there. And I've got these bio and social studies classes that I'm not teaching next year, or maybe I have a new crop of students. Anyways, right now I only have four in here, so it doesn't look very messy. But if I were in the classroom where I was teaching, you know, multiple subjects or multiple sections of a class, I could have so many classes and it would be so cluttered to add in brand new classes. So what I'm gonna do, on this homepage of Google Classroom where I see my class overview. I'm gonna go to the three little dots, the, the snowman more menu, that always means more in Google. And I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna hit archive. And what archive does, it brings you up this little warning that you won't be able to make changes in that classroom. Um, and But all the class files remain in Google Drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and click archive here. So it means that you can get back to it, you know, if there were ever a question about a student, what they submitted or grading, things like that. But it's not here cluttering up your home, home page of your classes, nor is it available for students to go in and enter anything. When, if you were to want to delete it completely, and I've had to do that too, if I've made a class in wanted to kind of revamp and start over um, or made one by error, what you can do is go to that menu in the top left corner and at the bottom, right before settings, you'll see archived classes. Go ahead and select archive classes. You can see that there's a whole lot of archived classes that I have here. These were ones that maybe I created an error. We decided to do something else. It's the end of the school year. So what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna again, select the snowman three dot more button and I'm gonna delete it or restore it. And that's the nice thing about archiving is that you have the ability to go back and restore it if you were if you needed to, to get access to it or get you know some documentation. All the class files do live in Drive still. Deleting it is taking it away permanently. And I don't have any files in this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and select delete. It'll bring you up a prompt that says you will no longer have access to any posts or comments, um, but the class files do remain in Google Drive but you can't undo deleted. So you can undo an archive, but not on the delete side. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select delete. I would suggest that you hold on to classes um, into the new year to make sure that there's no questions on grading. You know, it's kind of like how we had to pack up our, our materials and, and whatnot from the year before and hold on to them for a calendar year or a school calendar year. You can do the same in archived classes without having them clutter up your main classes. So that's just an easy, quick way to organize yourself for the new year and clean up your uh, Google Classroom classes. As always, don't forget to subscribe below to AOP Tech on YouTube, and you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest all under AOP Tech. And don't forget to visit our resource website, aoptech.weebly.com.